Hey everybody, this is Ori from Astral Web. I uh, just wanted to share two quick tips about negative keywords in your AdWords PPC campaign. Uh, very, very simple, pretty straightforward. So uh, the first thing I want to talk about is a, a, how we actually come up with some negative keywords uh, when we start a campaign. So obviously you need to think about the niche and then think about the um, audience that may be looking for your specific niche but something maybe you're not looking to sell. So for example, um, we have one of our clients here, they sell wholesale products, wholesale uh, belts, stuff like that. And um, one, one term I might think for negative keywords would be maybe adding things such as uh, free because you know they're selling they're selling their e-commerce site so we don't want people looking for free wholesale stuff or maybe uh, wholesale jobs or salary or recruitments or about the wholesale business uh, may not be a direct keyword that we want to have and we may want to add it to it our negative keywords okay so that's that's one thing and obviously you need to think about your niche and add all the things that are uh, not you know not related to to what you're trying to do, what your actual goal is. Uh, and the second thing is uh, for finding this tip I, I like a lot for finding negative keywords is actually looking at the campaign information. Um, and as you know, probably uh, your campaigns have a broad, you know, different match types: broad match, phrase match, exact match. Um, but if you uh, do have broad match or phrase match. Uh, one thing you can actually do is go ahead and see which terms actually triggered your broad match and maybe select ones that are uh, you want to either work uh, uh, with and actually improve and create relevant new ads and landing pages uh, and also create the negative keywords. So I'm going to show you one quick thing. So you log into the AdWords account, go to the keywords tab right here and uh, here's all your, your keywords and your terms and your information and all that. Now what you do is you go down below the graph to the details and to the search terms and all button. This will take you to uh, a page that actually lists all of the terms that you have received impressions, clicks, and, and on and on. And you can see an example here. Um, we have in our ad group dog collar, we have uh, a broad match term that uh, actually eight people clicked. We paid for eight people to visit our site that clicked and, and searched for dog collars wholesale. So that's a broad match term that we can find out what the exact term is that triggered our broad match. So going back to the negative keywords, I'm going to go ahead here and um, go down a little bit and search for some terms that may be able we may be able to add to our negative terms. Okay, And uh, I'll take this for example. So um, we sell a, a, or the company sells wholesale a pet supplies, so the, mainly leashes and belts and stuff like that. So um, the wholesale dog collar is really what they sell. Now they do not offer uh, specific Mickey Mouse dog collars for for wholesale. So it, depending on what we want to do, we may want to actually add that to our negative terms. So all you have to do, if you don't sell Mickey Mouse and you want to increase conversions and you thought about it, just click on just check box the Mickey Mouse pet supplies, go to the top, add as negative keyword, and of course you need to figure out if it's on the ad group or the campaign level. I'm actually going to do it on the ad group, and you can see um, the uh, a, a, the exact match type. So in this case, it's it's a, an exact match, and you can figure out if you want phrase match or exact or broad or simplify it maybe just to Mickey Mouse. Uh, I'm going to click on save, and that's it. We added our term to the negative keywords and you can see it's excluded here. So hope you enjoyed that and uh, we'll come up with some more videos on pay-per-click optimization. Thanks.